So, welcome back, my little children. Yeah, I'm literally moving tomorrow. Can you see? Like, I'm literally so tired. My eyes are like closing. Um, oh my god, my eyes are so red. Stop, why are my eyes so red? You can actually see how exhausted I am. Wow, okay. But it's so late, it's 11.32 p.m. in the night. I have the movers coming in tomorrow and I'm moving. Ah! Don't fucking ask me where I'm going. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm like, can I have suggestions and everyone's like leaving country names that they're in? Yeah, you should come to Romania. Yeah, you should come to Kenya. Yeah, of course you want me to come and live in the little country that you're in. And someone's like, yeah, Ansi, have you ever thought about coming to Kenya? Like, you know, it's really nice. And I'm like, Kenya? Girl, I don't even know where Kenya's on the map. They want me to be in their country, but guys, I don't even know. I'm having a little existential crisis, okay? But anyway, I just wanna come in here and just answer a bunch of questions. Um, it's also freezing here, like the weather is really scary. I love doing Q and A's at the end of every single year. I did one before. So this time I asked you guys to send me a bunch of questions and yeah, I think you guys just went all in. So let's get started, shall we? I'm starving, so I got some fries and a burger waiting for me. But before we begin, I just wanna give a quick shout out to Envue. This is a surreal moment for me right now, okay? It's a full circle moment. I used to play, I used to go around saying I Envue like an idiot. I used to live my life through Envue. And I cannot believe at 24, they wanted to work with me. Literally touch, I'm tearing up. If you don't know what Envue is, it's the world's largest friendship discovery and social platform. It's one of the top five apps in Apple Store and Google Play, where millions of users customize their avatars and explore over 40,000 destinations to connect with each other. And guys, this is exactly what I think I look like, like B for your auntie, like are you kidding? But this is how I connected with people and I made so many friends online. I can go out, I can shop, walk around. Like, so you can download Envy in the app store and for free. And you can play with me. My username is Ansi Twinkle one But yeah, thank you so much to Envy for sponsoring today's video and we can get started with the questions. So I'm not somebody who likes to waste people's times. Okay, I'm just gonna start going off from the juicy questions. It's gonna be a super long video, so just get some snacks. So number one, have you ever thought of creating videos uh, in Tamil just for your Tamil folks? I have. I had so many videos planned here. I just keep pushing it and pushing it and keep pushing it. Um, what's so crazy that people won't believe me is that I have videos planned till 2026. Did you hear that? I have videos planned for the next like two, three years, I think. I have so many videos in, in my head. Like I always have, I come up with such creative videos that I wanna you know create. I get very, very overwhelmed and um, it takes a lot for me to execute those videos on my own. But I have so many videos back to back and they're just all backlogged. Like I have a list since high school, I think. So fun fact, like I was supposed to do the, the worst reviewed makeup and nails in LA when I first came here, like literally last year, but I've, I keep pushing, I'm like, I'll do it next month, I'll do it next month. It keeps getting pushed back, but eventually before I leave, I wanted to do it. So I really wanted to do a tumble, like get ready with me, but I'm a little lazy with that because I have to add subtitles and I hate, I hate doing subtitles on videos. It's the beginning of my existence, but I promise you one day I will get it out for you, okay? This is my favorite question ever. So yeah, can you speak in all your four languages? Yes, I can. Forgive me, because the languages are kind of disappearing. I haven't talked to, I haven't used, oh my God, I haven't used any of these languages in the past six months. I think the longest time in my entire life. At least one of the languages get used up, but I just have never, so it might just sound really off. I face on my mom and she's like, my Tamil is still excellent, so that's good. But um, Hindi would be, Danyawad. <laughs> Arabic would be, Marhaba. Tamil would be, Yampere Ansi. <laughs> this is the first time I ever spoke Tumble. Oh my god, I gotta do a whole Tumble video though. Okay, are you a lesbian? No. Though so I'm gonna answer the juicy ones now since everyone's like eating my head over those questions. A lot of freaking questions on where I'm going, okay? I don't even know. I'm not 100% sure where I'm going, what I like. So um, I'm just like playing chess at this point. I'm very confused. I'm a very confused 25 year old. Like girl, do you know that girl in high school who just like, he, she can't stick with one boy. Like she just keeps jumping around. Like she's like the, you know, the whore of the school. I'm like that with countries. I don't know where I wanna go. Biggest fear, this is too, like such an Aquarius thing. But I think that, I feel like I need, I haven't, I don't travel a lot. I haven't. And I feel like I need, I wanna travel to see what I, what country I like. But yeah, the next question I have is a lot of questions on my endometriosis and my whole like cyst situation. So a lot of people have questions on on, like it's two things it's actually four things under it falls under one category so, so people want to know how I got skinny and then people want to know how I gained weight and then I have people asking if I got a boob job and then I have somebody asking me do you get your so then I have a lot of questions asking the you know, brow lift I saw something with my um, chin before where did it go um, so many questions on jaw chin boobs butt lips nose <laughs> Literally. 
I just want to be open and honest with everyone, like what's going on. So um, you can just skip it if this is boring for you. But I have a condition called endometriosis, and I made an entire video talking about my, you know, situation with that. It was really scary. I was um, in a state of like I was gonna lose my ovary for sure. Uh, seven centimeters. I had a cyst in my ovary. I was normal. Like everything was great. Like blood tests and this test and that test and everything was amazing. And then we did an MRI scan, and they were like, "Girl, that's." freaking scary what I had in my belly you know I was really scary I remember like being very depressed about it I love taking situations and making them so complex and just making myself suffer like I think I just my brain just wants me to like suffer I love that like what I do in my head I always said this like I hate how my brain operates sometimes it's really exhausting and I remember just like when she told me like the, the report came in and the bunch of doctors were just like looking, looking at me up and down and they were like this is a scary MRI scan to present to somebody who's just 22 years old this is two years ago and I remember just being very terrified of it because they were like you can like your ovary can rupture your entire uterus or your ovary I was petrified thankfully I was put into this medication so this is what gave me everything that everyone's asking me um, boobs butt losing weight gaining weight um clear skin all that is this motherfucker. okay number one so this is the medication that saved my entire life my cyst went from a seven centimeter to a four centimeter which is oh holy jesus christ that's amazing i can still opt to go get surgery to get it out a very complicated and sad scary situation um i found out Haley bieber has a cyst inside her belly too like when she posted this picture it kind of made me feel like i wasn't alone but yeah this medication you guys i am i just want to say i don't want to fucking tear up oh my god i'm getting emotional i am fuck why am I crying? I'm literally, I'm always crying. I literally just cried and licked cried in three of my podcasts back to back. Like literally, what? Um, I'm just like really emotional. I'll tell you why in a second. I'm not on the meds anymore. So that's why I'm back into my original antsy, like the emotional chaotic antsy. But this medication is $200. If I found out like, I don't know, four years ago, three years ago, guys, I wouldn't be able to afford this. It's extremely expensive. Like I couldn't, like insurance doesn't cover this. So I remember I had to get six of these boxes and one box is like $200. And I remember just like my jaw was on the floor and I remember even the doctor was like you're such a small girl Like I'm so sorry like your insurance isn't covering it and like I hope like you know Do you want to do some payment plan like we can help you out? I was like no I surprisingly can I'm able to afford it because of you guys So I'm very grateful for that because holy shit you guys like I'm just thinking do you have you remember watching the video of me being like Can't put cheese in my pasta because I can't afford it. I used to make this pasta when I was a child I used to skip on the cheese because it's really expensive the secret ingredient Oh my god not me being so humble That makes me so sad <laughs> That's my favorite video ever. I literally have tears thinking about it, but it's like I wouldn't be able to afford any of this Okay, so this is like I am so grateful I was able to get this this medication unfortunately is banned in the United States of America So I have no idea why what is going on because I came to America and I'm like, oh, can I have a prescription? My guy and I was like, yeah, sure And then she goes like girl, we don't have this here and I'm like why and then she tells me pretty much like she can't prescribe this to me because she lose her license here and she couldn't help me so I had to literally go get get on call with my gyno in Dubai and then she gave me the prescription I, you, you just can't go get it and tell people oh yeah I want some big titties can I get the medicine it's impossible it's um, not birth control pills I want to reiterate that 10 times this is not birth control pills I am terrified of birth control pills but I know BC does get you boobs and butt and clear skin and all that it literally makes you gain weight by the hour this is very similar but it's not birth control pills just like birth control pills it's a tiny Tiny pill and you got to take it every single day at, at the same time just like birth control pills but again it is not a birth control pill so I don't know if that's gonna help you reduce your cyst you need to speak with your guy now so yeah for two years I was under this medication and I gained a lot of freaking weight and I didn't even know that because I see my face every day and I'm like I don't see a difference I don't weigh myself every day I eat whatever I want I'm not on a diet I work out I didn't see a difference it's only when I took my camera I want to say literally like a week ago I had these like pictures a folder of pictures that I took on accident like it was literally a folder of random pictures of my face my body like on accident and I, I couldn't believe that's what I look like okay I couldn't believe that's what I look like this entire time Um, I gained a lot of weight and I just I did I genuinely did not know like I couldn't tell my face was puffy Everything just blew up and it's only one time when I went to Zara here and I put on like I'm I'm an XS you guys always my entire life I've been an XS. I put an outfit in Zara and I look at myself and I remember it Tearing like I heard and I'm like bitch that better not fucking be me like what what are you talking about? I was an M not just Zara though, like even after that, like whatever I would buy, nothing would fit me. My, my bras wouldn't fit me. My undies wouldn't fit me. My undies, I'm an L. I'm an L in my undies and my, my bra too, I was like a 32B, 34A, something like that. I'm a 32 triple D. Like my boobs exploded, my underwear exploded. It was kind of like, 
a little moment for me, you know, I'm like, damn, I like, you know, I'm not in my teenage body anymore. I think it's like, it's a thing when you enter your 20s, you're like, no matter what you do, you can go back to your teenage body, your teenage face, like whatever you had as a teenager, it's gone. So yeah, remember, this is the con of the medicine. It could be a pro or a con for you. It really depends. I went from 50 kilos. I want to say that's like 100, and, 100 pounds. And I'm 130 now. Like I look at my license and I'm like, let me see what's in my license. I'm 130 pounds, which is 60 kilos 65 kilos it's a lot i gained like 15 kilos um on this medicine so if you're like i want to gain weight what do i do it's this i'm not gonna lie when i first like my gyno did tell me you're gonna gain weight your boobs are gonna be so sore you're not gonna get your period anymore um you know you're gonna have hair loss which i did i had so much hair loss she's like you're gonna wake up one day you're gonna have super clear skin which i did but also she's like you're gonna wake up one day and you're gonna have full of acne which also i did literally a mess but yeah this pill you guys basically it's genuinely like you're pregnant is the best way to explain it i had the craziest cravings i would eat like cabbage and mayo the girls here were like nc are you okay cabbage and mayo i don't know i would eat just sugar i would take butter and just bite into butter because butter was so delicious for me i would just snack like that and uh people would just ask me like nc why do you eat like that and i'm like i don't know and they, my friends here would be like i think you're pregnant have you checked are you pregnant and i'm like i'm celibate i literally haven't hooked up with one person in la like trust me i'm anything but pregnant but every and the thing is that i don't get my period so i just wouldn't know and everyone's like nc this is really scary i'm like guys trust me i know my body i'm not like it's i'm not pregnant for two years i just did not get my period i would do like what i eat in a day video and um i would get so many comments like she eats so much like why is she eating so much just think that I was pregnant is exactly how I can explain it. Just like that, um, I was very moody and my skin was glowing, just like a pregnant woman's skin would be and um, hair loss like a pregnant woman. I, I was basically pregnant without a baby. That's even worse, double homicide. Like at least the girls who are getting fat when they're pregnant, you're getting a baby at the end of the day. What did I get? No, I was, I just gained weight, okay? But here's the thing, I really wanted to gain weight, okay? I have been a skinny bitch my entire life. You've seen my old videos, like you can just see I'm bones bitch. I've been bones my entire life. So when the doctor kind of told me, oh, like girls don't like it, the fact that they gain weight in this medicine, I was like, I need that. I want boobs. I can, I want to be curvy for once. I'm literally built like the Tower of Peace out with the leaning and everything. So I'm like, I want to be like curvy. I've always had a body of like a 10 year old boy, honestly. Even my boobs, oh my God, my boobs would literally just be like that. Like there's no sag, no projection, like just nips pointing out, like boobs and nips, like, you know, just standing like that. For the first time ever, like I have like sag, like my boobs are actually falling to gravity. Like they're like, I'm, I'm becoming a woman, I guess. I love that, you know? I loved being on the medicine, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my God, I was so stable. She's like, this is gonna make you heartless. You're gonna be cold. And I'm like, this is literally, tell me this is not every woman's dream. Like clear skin, big boobs, and you're unemotional. Like, come on. And it doesn't help that I'm a triple Aquarius, okay? I was literally ice cold in this medicine. I felt nothing. You could say literally anything to me. I felt nothing, emotion zero. <laughs> I remember even when I left my parents, I didn't cry. I only cried because of the bunnies. It's so sad. I was in the plane crying. Not, oh my God, this is so sad. Not like I had no heart, you guys. The medicine really like balances your hormones, makes you, a f I was a man. I was a freaking man. I had no heart. And I told my gyno, like, I love this medicine so much. And she was like, girl, you're not special. Everyone does. Oh, she told me all her patients beg her to like keep giving her this medicine. So it's a lot of ups and downs. One day I would wake up super skinny. The next day I would be so bloated. I knew what I was getting myself into and I would read these comments. And honestly, I don't care about people like skinny shaming me or fat shaming me. You know what? My entire life I've been told like, eat, eat more, eat a sandwich, like eat, drink some milk and like, you, you know, I wish I could give you my fat. That's like every Indian auntie's favorite thing to say to me every single time. A lot of, uh, you don't eat. Do you have an eating disorder? Why are you starving? You look anorexic. Uh, you look malnourished. All these words from high school teachers. Uh, obviously I'm not every boy's favorite because I don't have any meat on my body. And I genuinely just, I wanted to gain weight. I would eat so much. I just never gained weight. I've always had a very fast metabolism. I've, that's how my body is. I eat good. Okay, I work out, but nothing helped because I had a hormonal condition and I knew I was just gonna gain weight regardless. But yeah. That was a crazy thing that I had to accept and I was actually totally fine with it because I wanted some boobs I'm gonna be honest with you and I wanted some flesh and I did and then I was like, okay now I'm done Can we stop with the expanding like why am I still growing? <laughs> but yeah, I had to keep going like it was pretty bad um, But yeah, my face got rounded and I remember I would get comments like she's putting a lot of filters She went to and that other narrative she went to LA and she got like injections to her face and I'm like no Mm, just getting fat. Mm, I just have a condition. <laughs> kind of sucked though. Like I would read these comments. It's not about like shaming me for filters and fillers and work done. I've heard that since I was like 17 on YouTube that I'm, I'm, I have work done. I have a nose job. Bitch, I couldn't even afford cheese and people would be like, she's got a nose job and fillers and this and that. I've heard that and I'm okay with it because I've heard it so long, like I'm over it. But I think every single time somebody would comment on my body, I would be reminded that I have this, have this terrible condition, if that makes sense. I like, it would be, she's so fat. 
I would be like, Auntie, remember your cyst in your ovary? You're so skinny, your face blew up. Auntie, remember you have a fucking bursting cysty ovary, ugly fat cyst issue? She's putting fillers into her face. Auntie, do you remember how you have an ovary? This is all I would see when I would read the comments. Um, but, but yeah, I knew I had to suck it in, just shut up and just, you know, I knew my body was fighting this like enormous, gigantic cyst. It's very scary because the cyst is not just empty, then they could just fucking poke it, I think. But it has dirty old blood clots inside the cyst. This can rupture and explode inside my body and then I literally have to be taken to the ER. It's a very sad, scary situation. I don't want to think about it. It freaks me out, honestly. I don't know. But yeah, I'm, I'm in my, you know, looking at things glass full, then glass empty. And I'm very happy that the cyst fully reduced to four centimeters into two into two, which is amazing. Love that for me. However, I had to fully stop the medication. I think I stopped like a month ago. And that's why I have, like, I look different now. Like the weight gain literally... I forgot, like I, I I, fully forgot how fast my metabolism is. My grandma has it, my mom has it. Even my mom, um, I'm pretty sure she delivered my brother skinny. When she was my age, she always tells me that. And before I came in, she had hormonal issues. She had a bunch of miscarriages and you know, she was put in a lot of hormonal you know, medicines and uh, she had a lot of treatments done. She gained a lot of weight with that. And then she had me, I was her last like successful pregnancy. And then she was like, I'm done, like, you know, getting pregnant again. So she told me the same thing. She's like, Nancy, it took me, and she had to be under a lot of hormonal fertility. Um, treatments like five years of that is how she is like obese now so it's the same thing with me guys like I would eat so much and I would just not gain weight and of course like it's only this hormonal medicine that I'm able to gain weight and I loved it I'm not gonna lie like I looked I look so good in so many like outfits and bikinis and I know I'm gonna miss this fucking shit and she's not gonna prescribe me anymore because she doesn't want to prescribe it to me anymore because four centimeters considered as a very small cyst like I'm in the safe zone now but we have to I have to keep scans and you know look after it so yeah in a month of me stopping I started seeing comments like oh my god she's skinny now how is she skinny? What is going on with her face? You can see her body's different now. It went from literally shaming my face. Like I would get like, you're doing too much fillers. Stop, like don't do fillers. I literally hate fillers on your face. I've never touched my face. I have touched my lips, never my face. I, in fact, I've told Lily too. I'm like, dude, you don't need cheek fillers or this filler stick because I'm like, it's gonna round out and you're gonna look like Jaclyn Hill. And my cheeks, they're from my mother. I promise you, these are not fillers. And if they're fillers, they wouldn't move like this. I don't have Botox. I naturally just don't move my forehead that much when I talk. I'm very expressive with my mouth and my eyes. Promise you, no fillers here. But God, I would read these comments. It would fucking exhaust me. It was a lot of like, um, oh yeah, stop injecting your face. Oh, and I'm like, girl, I don't, I want to get rid of this face. Like the fat and the whatever the fuck I had, the bloat was so bad. Year two of this medicine was not amazing. I started to have very depressive, very suicidal thoughts. And I was told to inform my guy now. And I had to like eventually like, you know, let her know, like, I don't know how I feel being on this medicine anymore. Cause my cyst is small now, it's tiny and I'm not feeling good internally. And she's like, okay, let's give you a break. I was like, that's amazing. So she fully had to take me off the medicine. And you guys, um, stopping this medicine a month ago, I got my period and I was terrified. You guys, I had to go to like, I had to go to like Target and get tampons for the first time. I forgot I'm a woman. Like I literally, I've literally not purchased pads and tampons in like two years. I forgot that I, I have to do that as a woman, like for the rest of my life. And I remember just being like, oh my God, I got my period. I'm like, oh my God, I, now I have to go and buy a tampon. <laughs> I was a man this entire time and now I'm not. I'm one of you guys now, it's really hard. I had to go and be like, can you tell me where the tampon aisle is? Cause I've never been. And he's like, yeah ma'am, it's an E7. I'm like, okay. I had to go pick up a tampon and yeah, that's like the first time ever I've, I've had tampons on my credit bill. So um, yeah, I got my period. I was really scared because now you know you, it, it's gonna test me if I can handle this pain or not. Because endometriosis is basically painful freaking periods. It's, it's gonna f up your uterus a lot. So I got my period successfully. I was great. I felt like a normal teenage girl. Like no pain, no gain, nothing. Like I was just fine. No pain, you guys. Holy shit. I was terrified, but um, yeah, that's amazing. So um, yeah, kind of. I've kind of fixed up my endometriosis for now, but I feel like eventually I will have to get surgery if I want have kids this and that that's all for the future i don't care i'm just really happy now you guys i'm so sorry but like i was glowing i i started getting comments to their like ansi's face is so skinny and she's so happy and glowy and like i'm like thank you like you, you're actually seeing it the minute i stopped the medicine my hair got to get more like shiny silky and like thick and like the hair loss fully disappeared and um my skin looks flawless and i lost all of the fat that i had on my face like this like it was gone a month of me stopping yeah so it looks like my mom didn't lie i'm back to being a boy all of this all of this for me to just go back to my first figure but okay now everyone's like i got a boob job because when i was fat and i had boobs no one fucking cared. But now I'm losing body weight, but my boobs are still there. So 
everyone's like, I got my boobs done. And let's not forget about the BBL. I lost, I'm losing weight everywhere now. Like all of it is going and I'm like, please don't go. I'm literally stacking up push-up bras. And secondly, I made all these TikToks, like talking about my boobs and how my boobs are growing. Cause this was the era my boobs ex fucking floated. No one said anything. They were like, huh, okay, whatever. But now I'm just saying, I'm, I'm trying to make you understand like this is a body condition of mine, but now I'm losing weight. So my boobs, my butt, everything is just like standing out by itself. Please don't starve yourself. Cause you're trying to look like my body. I have an, a fucking like a health issue. It's scary. I, I'm losing all of my body weight but my boobs my double chin and my butt like they're still there so i feel like that's why like standing out and everyone's like oh my god she got this done and that done um secondly i want to say i'm more of a face gal like i love to work on my face more like i don't know i've gotten my lips done uh, microblading and um what else i get laser lip tattoo like i care about my face more than my body i really never cared about my body so yeah that's all in one answer endometriosis boob job nose job BBL, whatever, uh, skin, hair, all, I hope I just covered everything for you, but, um, damn, I didn't take a bite of my burger, are you kidding? But yeah, um, I'm losing weight by the hour, and I know that when my face gets very skeletonly and the eyes start to get bigger than the rest of my face, I know the weight loss is coming. Like, my mom would buy me excess, I wouldn't fit in. It was always bones. There was one time, my, one of my old best friends, so, like, I mean, no shade to her, I love her, but I'm sure, like, she meant no harm, but I remember she, like, touched my hip bone on an accident, and she's like, Ancy, what the fuck is that? And I was like, what? She's like, what is that? And she's like, she's like poking my bone. She's like, Ancy, you're, you're, there's something off, like, it's something off here, like, your body, what is that? I was like, I don't know. It was my hip bone. My hip bones were protruding out of my, like, my hip, you know? Like, you could look at my body and you could see rib cage. Girls, you are so insane. If they're going to the pool, they'll starve the day before. That's something I found out. I'm like, what are, like, if you're going to the pool, you're supposed to eat a lot. Like, that's what my mom would, like, force feed me if I would be, like, dizzy at the, in the pool. Like, I need to eat a lot. They wanna, they wanna have a flat belly, so they just skip on eating the day before, the night before, so they can have, like, a flat belly the next day to, like, the, to the pool day. And I'm like, you're apt. This is insane. Always come to me like, Ansi, how are you so skinny and small and tiny? Like, what's your diet? Like, and I'm like, I eat every day, everything, all, all the time. I eat so much till like 4 a.m. It's your genes, your metabolism, your body, starving, developing eating disorders, and like, it's not gonna help you. I just wanna talk about fat and women. Let me just come to that, okay? I've noticed a pattern though. When a man gets fat, right? When men, women, children, everyone makes jokes about it. Like, you got fat, huh? You have a fat uncle, a fat grandpa, I'm sure you know. Everyone begs that man to like, lose weight kinda in like a funny way. Like, you should go work out. Like, what are you, why is your body looking like that? Bro, you need to go work out. His friends would tell him at work, like, dude, you're like slacking, like, you have a pot belly, like, go work out. You know, the guy doesn't take offense, he actually works out. And men are so lucky with their hormones and the way they're built, like, their muscles and their hormones and whatever, their testosterone, their estrogen. Yeah, I said that. I said what I said. All they have to do is just go to the grocery one time and they'll get a muscle. They'll come back with eight pack abs. Love that for men. They come out of the gym, they kill off the weight. Everyone's happy. Men, women, men love other men who have abs they're more appreciated and now men they kind of become a gym rat they get addicted if you think about it they get addicted start counting calories and everything and they kind of do it for the male gaze now they love the male validation they get from it they don't do it for women anymore they start working out not for other male validation honestly it's just the male gaze you know what happens with women can we talk about it when you get fat or think about anybody you know who got fat like it could be the pregnant fat it could be happy relationship fat it could be hormonal fat like me there are different types of fat like i feel like women no matter what we could breathe and we would get fat it could it's just we get fat so easily birth control you're depressed you're gonna binge eat you're gonna get fat are you happy in a relationship you're gonna you're gonna eat you're gonna get fat fat during pregnancy fat before pregnancy fat after pregnancy menopause fat grandma fat 99 year old funeral bed fat like we're just gonna be always fat right but when we gain weight no one tells you anything because i think it's like an offensive thing to call a woman fat or like tell her that she's gaining weight uh and apparently women just don't take it well so like no one talks about it my friends would, none of them would dare, none of them have, would come to me and be like, you're gaining, you're gaining weight, weight antsy, like what like, is going, going on? on? Like, like th they didn't even question why I'm gaining weight, nothing. Like it was silent because it's like a, I don't know, I think it's like taboo. Like you don't talk, talk about a woman's weight, right? It's really offensive. My family didn't and my friends didn't either. I only found out because of the fucking comments, bitch. I'm being so serious, but when a woman gets fat, 99% of the time, of the time she, she, doesn't, she know. doesn't know. Until she goes to Zara and she gets her fucking ass torn, okay? That's literally when I was like, and so you're getting away. Did anyone tell you that? Hello? Why did none of you bitches tell me? That's literally how I was. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, it's just what it is, you know? Then what happens is I found out I was fat. I took myself to the gym. I took myself to the gym and I was working out anyway. I freaking had abs, okay? Endo came and killed it, but I had abs. 
I was like, you know what, let me just go to the gym now. So I go to the gym, I'm working out. Anyway, I stopped the pill, I'm shedding weight. Like I'm losing all my freaking weight now. Stop the meds, I'm eating right now, going to the gym, doing my regular stuff. And now I have people around me, like who I see every day here, they come to me and they're like, you've lost a bunch of weight, you're so skinny now. And things like, what are you doing? Oh my God, you look so good, what's your diet? And it was a lot of questions and I'm like, just stop my hormonal pill. And they were like, no way, you look so good. And your boobs, where'd you get your boobs from? And your butt, like, oh my God, so many questions about my body. And then even my family, my mom's like, you lost so much weight oh my god like why is your face so skinny and that even boys like started to like ask me out more in dates because of this body of mine versus my old like chubby body whatever not even kidding i started to get more compliments with my skinny self than my chubby self um and more dates and whatnot and i'm like what what just happened i have no idea and now i'm getting dms and also comments from you guys like how did you lose weight and see your figure is amazing how do you get skinny how do you you know what i'm trying to say you, and now i'm working out and i'm now back to my sexy like good body self and now i'm getting the comments you look terrible you're back to being skinny you're you don't look good and see you look like you're starving yourself uh anorexic you look malnourished um anorexic yes uh, you have an eating disorder people love to say that on tiktok um other things too she's starving herself surgery fillers blah Blah, blah blah do you see what i'm trying to say men versus women how interesting is that that was crazy when i noticed that i was like oh my god everyone needs to like i want to talk about this you could be a woman who's doing amazing at the gym but people are just not when you look better you don't get compliments from women they kind of tear you down out of envy it's a lot of like how'd you do that like what'd you do it's, it's obviously fake like girl oh my god like oh like what jacqueline hill went through was kind of really scary because i feel like i went through the same thing honestly um she was she got like dried for like puffy fillers and she was like i just have a health condition same thing here you guys i just don't have control over my face and my body so i don't want anyone to like watch me ever be like oh i wish i could be like antsy it's just you know it's one thing or the other hey at least you have a functioning ovary and you can probably conceive in the future and i probably can't okay so i really just don't have all of it i can't have everything if i have an amazing body i have something i'm losing in the in the way but just letting you know okay don't freak out big titties <laughs> Wait, what is big titties tips I want to say I have these cutlets I'll put pictures here because everything is packed up in my boxes the acne oh my god I love you the acne face wash you recommended saved my life I will give you my kidney I love you I'm so glad it did it's the one that I got it from Madison Beer it's the um, Penoxyl I can still never say it look at my skin I swear no filter look look at my oh my god my forehead is the one look at my forehead you guys holy shit do you want clear skin click the link Amazon don't ask me questions my brother <sighs> A straight man got it. I threw all of my skincare away. I just used that guy. Amazing, great skin, love that. What are your bunnies named? Demonetize. Hey, babe, did you ever feel lost or kind of insecure after you left your hometown or Dubai? Dubai is my hometown. I couldn't wait to get out. If I'm gonna be honest with you, I wanted to get away. I was like a little bird in a cage. It's like, people are like, how can you say that about Dubai? I can, I can see why people are saying that because it is Dubai. It's like a paradise. It's like. If I hear somebody go like, oh, I want to run away from Paris or Maldives, I'm like, why? It's so magical. But I just think that, like, if you just live, I went to school, college, and, you know, I grew up in my hometown. I, I kind of got bored, I would say. Like, I knew all the streets and everybody and everything. And I was just like, I want something new, you know what I mean? But in my life today, right now, I'm very proud to say, like, I have friends. Like, I have friends I can call, ask for help. I have people who invite me to parties, which is, I, I've never been that person. I've been very alone, antisocial. I have people like, I get to choose where I want to go today. I get invited to things. People want to want me. People want to see me, hang out with me, take me out. And like, I'm not sticking with that one friend. I have multiple friends, different friend groups. And it's all because I said, yes. You walk dogs, you walk pets, you meet people that way. And like, I love that. The people are very, very hospitable here, approachable here. They're very friendly. I make friends at like in elevators here. So I love that. I'm, I have like neighbors who are friendly. So guys, I can like actually hold a conversation now. I can like talk girly things that girl who knows how to talk now but girl you do not know okay you do not know what i look like or sound like when i meet people i'm like uh, 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 stuttering and stammering like 24 7 like oh my god i can actually talk to people um i can like order i'm turning 21 in a week how did you cope with the process of becoming a dinosaur i get this trust me we always i talk about this all the time with all my 20 friends we're all like 22 scared of 23 23 scared of turning 24 i was a little petrified of turning 25 but once you're 20 you really feel like you don't want to keep doing this. I'm going to be honest with you. I was like, I'm just going to keep paying bills and paying rent. Like how long? Like I'm paying for these lights, water. Like how long does this keep going on for? And this in the last favorite time of the year in the US. I want to say Halloween. That whole like month era was, oh, I felt hot as f I was dressed up as Victoria's Secret. 
I met so many people. I went to six Halloween parties in one night. Uh, blustered, flustered, got met a lot of cute guys, didn't text any of them. Would you see yourself in 10 years? I wanna say happily married um, with a rich man. I don't wanna work. With that being said, I love this comment so much from Vanshika. <laughs> My love for you is like armpit hair. The more you shave it, the more thicker it becomes. Same to you, I mean that too. Um, I do feel the same way. I'm very grateful to where I'm at in life. I, I'm literally dumb, like what am I doing? My IQ is six. Crazy what life is like for me right now. It's unimaginable, like it's everything that I've ever dreamed of. It's literally my MU reality if I say so myself. But yeah, um, thank you so much for tuning in. This is the longest video I've ever filmed in my entire life. Hopefully you got some answers, I don't know. Um, if you don't, dislike it. If you did, like it. Comment, follow my Insta. So yeah, love you guys. I'll see you guys very soon. Hopefully a country picked out. Like God, what is going on? Okay, love you, bye.